Hi yo folks, this is Max from Zetomax.com and G2Hacks.com. Anyway, today um, we're gonna go install a new ROM because I have a CM7 um, and I've been using it for a couple of weeks and sometimes it just like goes blonkers on me and types by itself. Um, I've been uploading it to the net, net lease but it's not working out so well. So I'm gonna go ahead, there's another ROM that I tried, it's called MiUi, it's on the HTC EVO, and uh, uh, let's go try installing that. Um, first of all, you need to copy over the ROM file, zip file, to the root directory of your SD card. I am hoping you know how to do that. And then just open up your ROM manager. If you don't have ROM manager, just get it. Um, uh, off the market you can get it, it's free. And you can flash clockwork uh, mod recovery if you don't haven't, but you probably have. Um, and then we're just gonna go install ROM from SD card and then we're gonna choose the MIUI 1.5.27 which is the latest version for the G2 phone. I'll have links below below this video. So I'm gonna choose that and then I'm gonna back up existing ROM so I can go back to it. Oh, actually, you know what? It's not that hard. Wipe data and cache. You can back up your existing ROM if you want to. And then click OK. And then OK. And then we'll boot and uh, it'll install the new um, MUI ROM. Um, what I like about the MUI ROM is that it's, you know, it's got a new, like, completely different interface. It's different from the, you know, the vanilla. Uh, mm -hmm. Android Vanilla or the uh, HTC Sense or you know everything else but uh, it's a good fresh ROM and uh, I'm gonna go try it right now um, so now it's formatting this should take a little while so I'll be back when this is done um, and the phone will reboot after it installs so just let it install and I'll have a review Hi all folks, so here's the uh, startup screen of the MiUi ROM and it started up, look at how clean that is oh yeah I'll give you a close up look at that uh. whoa nice right so anyway let me zoom back and uh, before we get too excited let me give you a little tour of the me we rom uh -huh -huh -huh. um there's a bunch of stuff like settings you'll get a whole different screen um you'll get this common uh personal oops, personal system programs um, let me see. And also, there's a. I don't want this widget. <laughs> Get rid of the clock. Huh? There's a bunch of themes you can download. Um, actually, let me go hook it up to my Wi Fi. I don't know why I'm getting edge. I'll be back. Hi, all folks. I've got the uh, MiUi ROM running, uh, humming on my T Mobile G2. Um, let me show you around some of the features. Uh, First of all, for widgets, there's um, there's actually no all applications. There's only three screens, but um, that's not the worst thing. Well, okay, getting a little funky on me. Hold, and then there's a bunch of widgets you can get. Um, eh, let me adjust the camera. There we go, and uh, you can get calendar, photo frame, um, different widgets, right? And then let me show you a different look. Like let's say you want to change around everything. You don't have to do one by one. You can hold on to it and then move everything. Sort of like that. That's kind of neat, I guess. It's different from all the other um, things I've tried. Let me get rid of this. There we go. Um, let me see what else can I show you 
It has a uh, Wi-Fi tethering and USB tethering. Um, also, it can be overclocked. I've got my. Oh, you know what? It's still on. I got it on. Uh, there's something funky with this ROM. Sometimes you, it won't. <laughs> you gotta press back. But you know that that's the only funky part about it. Um, but it's not doing that thing that was doing on uh, CM7. It was pressing all these buttons when I wasn't pressing it. It's like somebody was hacking my phone remotely. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Let's try the camera. Camera works fine. Um, it's got some interesting stuff like anti-shake. Oh, that does look pretty good. Uh, what else does it have? See, now it gets... It's getting funky on me now. I don't know what... Maybe it's just my phone? What the hell's going on? Okay. Yeah, see? It was... Oh, you know what? I've got it overclocked. That's why. Let me just go turn that off. I've got it overclocked. Maybe that's making everything funky right now. Let me turn it down a little bit. Um... Hello. Oh, demo fail. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's just. I think it's just hogging the. Let me set it to like 1.2. That should make it better. Um, maybe that's what's what's happening with CM7 too. But anyway, this is a great ROM. You can also go download like new, um, new themes. Oops. There's a bunch of themes you can download. Um, feature themes. Um, a lot of themes. It's in Chinese. Okay, let's get the iPhone theme. <laughs> That's gonna be funny. Let's see how that looks. So it's downloading. Oh, and also I'll show you the screen. It's got a bunch of toggles. It's easy to toggle GPS and stuff. Even though I, I like using the power widget. Um, Bluetooth. Notifications. Oh. Apply. I downloaded it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I have an Apple theme. It's kind of cool, right? And also if you press the power button you get a bunch of menus, toggles, um, and uh, let me see. Everything's working out of the box. Um, my 4G HSDPA is still working. Um, what else can I show you? Oh, let's do some testing. So let's do a uh, Limpac. There you go. What? That's pretty fast. Got 46.342. Oh, you know what? That's because I've I got it overclocked. But now my screen's going funky on me. Oh no, it's not. Oh, okay. So benchmarks are pretty good. I think my set CPU is going funky on me. Let me go turn that off. Uh, um. Hello. Hello iPhone. Um, oh god, what's going on? Okay, let's go find set CPU. Okay, let's turn this down back to 800 megahertz for testing. Okay, how do I... Okay. Alright, so I got it tuned down a little bit. Let me go run some tests for you. Do Limpack again. Hope it's not getting funky on me. 33. Okay, that's about stock ROM. Or stock speed without overclock. Uh, I think overclocking just killing my phone here. <clears throat> Quadrant standard. Let's run full benchmark. And 
and uh, let me adjust the camera so you can see. There. there we go. So let's just let it run um, and see how well it does. So, me, me, we, me, we, is that how you pronounce it? Some people are saying it's my, we. They should just spell it out right so people can say it right. <laughs> um, uh, it's a little jittery, but not too bad. Say yes. Okay, so this is what I got. Camera. So I've got a uh, sixteen ninety nine, uh, faster than Nexus one two point two, Motorola two Nexus two point two. Yeah, it's not too bad, but uh, the main thing is the themes and the widgets, um, just the different UI. Uh, user interface, I mean, and uh, what else is there? Oh, yeah, you can go to settings. No, um, hmm. Oh, there's more screens here. Four, I think there's five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five screens. Sorry, it's just uh, so they don't show up until you, you add them. Um, editing mode, wallpaper, launcher settings, notifications, um, oh, that's cool, you can add more screens, look, you can add like nine screens, which is kind of cool, let me see if I can add, how many I can add up to, okay, nine, now I have one, two, three, four, four, no, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine screens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's kind of cool. You can add up to nine screens. Um, and you can also. Oh, yeah, if you. This is what's going to show you. There's like a app killer that you can kill apps. App manager, um, app killer. And then it'll free up memory automatically, which is kind of cool. That programs you're not using. App Manager, it can shortcut to uh, SD card running uh, all downloaded. Um, and also it shows you uh, it shows you uh, how many megabytes you're using right now and how many are free for downloaded. Which is kind of cool. Um, so it's a different UI. Um, you, you'll have to get used to it, but there's a bunch of little nifty features and you know, it's still in initial stage of development, but everything's working out of the box. So if you're bored of your CM7, you might go install it and play around with it, which is what I'm going to do. So that was an overview of the, um, the Mi Ui ROM for G2. Try it out. Let me know what you think on this video. YouTube video or my blog post at g2hacks.com. Thanks a lot, folks. See y'all later. And subscribe.